Hey, Dylan, scum of the earth. When are you gonna answer my texts and calls? I don't message you out of nothing, you know. I'm messaging you because I have something important. Dad, how many times have I told you? I'm at work, so I don't have time for you right now. Stop blowing up my phone. Like I said, this is urgent. Why don't you start understanding human language for once? Fine, what is it? Make it quick then, you know I don't have much time. Huh? Is this the way you should talk to your own father? Don't even dream that I'm gonna keep tolerating your trashy behavior. Consider this a final warning to rectify your actions. Start treating your family with more respect. Are you serious? I can't recall uttering any disrespectful words. You really need to stop overreacting, Dad. It's starting to get a bit tiresome. Yada yada. Whatever you say, loser. Listen, cough up a couple of thousand bucks so I can buy tickets for the upcoming basketball match. How could anyone possibly miss it? Especially not a true basketball fan like me. It's the Golden State Warriors versus Los Angeles Lakers, baby. Woo! Hold on a moment. Did you just mention tickets? Does that mean you're bringing other people with you? Absolutely. All of my closest friends are joining me. Austin, Kane, Blake, Adrian, Andy, and more. I know we're gonna have a blast. I can hardly contain my excitement. It's been way too long since we've all been together. I can't wait to see those boys again. Are you kidding me? Why do you even expect me to buy tickets for your friends too? That doesn't make any sense at all. Is it because I'm paying for it that you think you can spend it however you want? Do you seriously believe that I would attend a basketball game all by myself? Come on, that'll be so boring. I know you're used to doing everything all on your lonesome. But unlike you, I'm not an isolated oddball whom nobody wants to be around. On the contrary, I am well liked by those around me, which is why my circle of friends continues to grow and expand. I always have people to hang out with. Oh please. I'd prefer solitude over being associated with your troublesome friends any day. Last time they visited our house, they created chaos and nearly destroyed everything, leaving me to clean up the mess they caused. <laughs> I still remember you running back and forth like a headless chicken trying to prevent Kane from throwing up on your bed or telling Adrian to stop urinating all over your shoes. Ah, those were the good old days, wouldn't you agree? Anyways, let's not waste time on nostalgic banter. Here's the deal, my bank account is running dry again, so I'll need you to transfer me $5,000. Scratch that, let's make it $10,000. On second thought, let's settle on $20,000. Yes, $20,000 should be the final amount. Are you joking? $20,000. You think I have a magical money printing ability or what? I work hard to earn my money, and I often have to take on third shifts to ensure that our household expenses are covered. There is absolutely no chance I'm going to send you that much money, even if you force me to. Why in the world would you reject your own parent? When did you become so stingy? Remember, there's no limit to the amount one should spend on their own parents. Just look at my friend's children and learn something. They have even provided their parents with lavish houses, luxury cars, and extravagant vacations. What have you ever done for me that's even worth mentioning? If it weren't for me, you wouldn't even exist. So stop being so self-centered and do as I tell you. Just stop guilt-tripping me into sending you any money, because it's not gonna work. I don't even know why you need that much money to begin with. Come on, use your head. I'm going to a basketball match, so of course I need money to bet on it. Are you really that dumb? 
I'm not asking for a lot of money, just enough to put a few bets on the game. You don't even need to understand this whole betting thing. Simply give me the money and I'll be on my way. Don't be such a tightwad. Basketball betting? Again? Are you serious? You know you've never won any money from that, right? In fact, you've lost us thousands of dollars because of it. I was just unlucky the last few times, but I won't this time around. You see, I have a foolproof plan. Besides, who do you think you are to judge my choice of investments? I'm the adult here, and I know what I'm doing. This has nothing to do with you, so just hand me the money and then everything will be solved. Stop being such a sulky child. What do you mean by this has nothing to do with me? It has everything to do with me, because it's me you're asking money from. What about the monthly allowance I send to you every month? Isn't it enough for you? You mean that measly $1,500? It doesn't even cover my breakfast costs, let alone my other expenses. Do you see me as a beggar in need of charity or what? Oh, wait. I happened to stumble upon your bank card in your room just now. Well, that's convenient. I guess that saves me the trouble of asking you for money. <laughs> Toodles, my son. Now, if you excuse me, I have some money to spend. What? How dare you invade my privacy by coming into my room without my permission? Besides, I specifically remember locking my room before I left. How in the world did you manage to sneak in? What on earth you are thinking? Locking your own room against your own father? This is my house, which means I hold authority over everything within it. Your room is not just yours, it is mine as well. And everything that belongs to you also belongs to me. You can lock the door if you so wish, but it's gonna be futile. I have my fair share of spare keys to your rooms, so I can break it open whenever I want to. You really have to stop doing this. You have absolutely no right to invade my privacy, take my bank card, and withdraw all the money without my permission. Don't make me laugh. I have every right to do so because I'm your freaking father, you retard. I get to do whatever I want, and there's nothing you can do about it. Do you really think you have a say in this family? Of course not. So know your place. Oh yeah? Need I remind you that I'm the one who works like a horse around here to provide for this family, ensuring there's food on the table and covering all the bills? And let's not forget who funds all your extravagant hobbies. It's none other than me, and no one else. Work like a horse? <laughs> Are you high or something? No one hard-working person would bring home such a meager income like you do. Oh, everyone, look at my useless son. He acts so high and mighty because he's so convinced of being the breadwinner. But in reality, he's just a piece of trash who earns even less than those homeless people. Wake up and face reality. Your salary is basically pocket change. So stop making a big deal out of it. Are you serious? Now you're criticizing me for not earning enough. I'm giving it my all. I work additional shifts, sometimes even up to 12 hours a day. Isn't that sufficient for you? You really need to understand that there are limits to a person's physical and mental endurance. Here we go again. As usual, the excuses come pouring in. Limit this and doing my best, that. Simply pathetic. Shut up already. You make me want to throw up. Instead of sitting here and whining, why don't you get a better job, you goddamn sloth? Do you know what determines a man's value? It's how much he actually earns a month. Do you seriously consider yourself a man when you earn such a pathetically low salary? 
You're dragging our whole family down. You know that? You've crossed a boundary, Dad. Perhaps you should experience firsthand how an unemployed man like yourself manages to survive without relying on what you deem as a pathetically low salary. Come on, don't get so worked up. It's only $20,000. I'm sure you'll be able to recover that amount in no time. Besides, any normal person with a brain cell or two would pull his socks up to repay their parents' hard work by sending them money once in a while. You're lucky enough to be my son. It's time you showed a little resourcefulness towards me. Hey, stupid big brother. When are you going to come back home? I specifically told you to go home and accompany me to the mall and help me carry my bags, you useless lump of flesh. Where are you at the moment? Shopping again? Are you serious? Stop splurging money on frivolities. When are you going to learn to be more responsible with your finances? If you have that much desire to spend money, why not find a job? and use the money you earn for your own expenses. Besides, I already told you that I'm currently at work. Why don't you ask Dad instead? Excuse me, what did I hear just now? Does this mean you're refusing to lend your little sister a helping hand? What a jerk. You really gross me out. Dad's busy at the moment. He has an important meeting with his friends, so we shouldn't disturb him. An important meeting with his friends? You mean he's out drinking with his friends again? Yeah, so what? I don't know what he does and I don't care. He's busy and that's all that matters. You're not busy, so you have to help me. It's not like you have anything better to do. What do you mean? I'm working and you're just sitting around doing nothing. Why don't you just take public transportation to the shopping mall? You're not a kid anymore. You're 25 years old. Learn to live more independently. Public transportation? Are you suggesting those filthy buses, subways, or trains? Ugh, gross. Only the lowlife or poor working class would even take public transportation. Ain't no way I'm gonna lower myself to their level. It's beneath me. Are you kidding me? Public transportation is used by people from all walks of life, no matter rich or poor. And why do you have such a negative view of the working class? They work hard and earn their own money, unlike some freeloaders I happen to know. Don't you know? Poor people are all bad guys and they usually target beautiful girls like me. What if I got robbed or kidnapped? Or anything bad happen to me? Are you willing to take the responsibility? And did you even read the news and see the increasing number of incidents with weirdos touching girls lately? You're my brother for crying out loud. How could you be so heartless towards your own sister? Come home and pick me up at once. I'm not going to repeat myself. I already told you that I'm at work and I have an extra shift today, so I'll be home pretty late. Just ask Dad to pick you up and accompany you to the shopping mall this time. Don't think I'm always available to run errands for you like a personal assistant. You're not a child anymore. Well, well, well. Look who's trying to shift the blame now. If you were more competent, you wouldn't have to stick with that shitty job of yours. Take a look at the rich people and learn from them. They only work a few hours a day and they earn significantly more than you do. I couldn't care less if you're working. Even if you had to take some time off work today, it wouldn't make a difference. Your salary is so pathetically low that you won't even notice it's missing. Are you kidding me? You think my salary is low? Well, it's the main source of income that helped pay for your college tuition and is being used to enable your lazy lifestyle. So show some respect. Besides, it's impossible for me to just drop my work to do something as nonsensical as being your personal shopper. You really need to stop acting like a spoiled brat. What did you just call me? A spoiled brat? <laughs> You'd better watch your mouth or else you'll be thrown out on the streets like yesterday's garbage faster than you think. And don't even think about taking my words as meaningless threats. 
I'm saying this for real. Once Justin moves here and lives with us, you'll become nothing more than a used up toy. Wait a minute. Who's Justin? I've never heard of that guy before. Oh, did I forget to mention? Justin is my fiance, and he's planning to move into our house soon. Once he joins me and dad at home, we'll kick your sorry ass out onto the streets. You know what? Given your meager monthly earnings, I think you'll blend in perfectly with the street dwellers. How amusing! Excuse me? What is all this talk about me being kicked out of the house? I seriously don't understand. What's so difficult to understand? You're so stupid that it's actually hilarious. Let me say this again so someone with a low IQ like you can understand. Justin already proposed to me, which makes him my fiancé and soon-to-be husband. Since he doesn't have his own house, he'll be moving in and living with me and Dad. Dad has already agreed to it. That means you'll no longer be welcome here. So figure it out yourself, old man. We're done using you. You're all used up. What? Are you serious? After all the sacrifices I've made for this household, you're going to discard me like a worn-out doormat? Yeah, I'm impressed that someone with wits as dull as you could have a grasp of the situation so quickly. Such a good boy you are. Oh, have you met Justin? He's amazingly handsome and dreamy. Not only that, he's super funny and kind too. You could learn a thing or two, Gramps. Look. If you're not going to come home and pick me up, this conversation is so over. Bye, old man. Wait, you need to explain to me what is going on. Lydia. Lydia! Dad? Where are you? We need to talk right now. What is it, useless loser? If you don't have anything important to say, then don't message me. Didn't I make myself clear about that part? Lydia told me that you're going to kick me out of the house so that her boyfriend can move in? Is it true? Tell me. <laughs> that girl certainly knows how to take charge. She's so spunky, isn't she? Oh, how can anyone not love her attitude? Is it true then? Of course it is. It's completely true. Are you actually questioning my daughter? It blows my mind how ignorant and out of touch you are that you even need to be informed about these matters. If there was a competition for the most foolish person on the planet, you'd definitely come out as the winner. Look, Justin holds one of the key positions at a prominent company. Once my daughter is married to that wealthy family, I'll become incredibly rich. In fact, I could potentially become a millionaire. There's no way I'm gonna let this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity slip away. If he's truly as wealthy as you've described, why would he have any reason to move into our modest house? He should at least allow Lydia to move in with him or even purchase a new house for their future family. Well, all of that will come to pass when Lydia marries Justin. At the moment, he wants to maintain a low profile to avoid attracting press attention. It's understandable that someone in Justin's prominent position would want to keep his identity concealed. So you're kicking me out of the house just because you found yourself a new money-making machine? That's just great. I guess I'm no longer of any use to you now that you have your new little golden goose, huh? Oh, it seems like you're not as dumb as I think you are. I'm actually impressed. It's true, I'm throwing you out of the house like a piece of garbage you are so that I don't have to refrain myself from vomiting every time I see you. Don't you see? I only keep you around in this house because I see that you could be useful to me as my slave or my personal ADM. Whichever you want to go with, one thing's for sure, I never thought of you as my son even once. In fact, you're even less than human. Seriously? Do you have any idea how hard I've worked to provide for you and Lydia? I'm the one who pays for everything. Lydia's tuition fees, the gas and electric, groceries, repairs, clothes, and many other things. 
not to mention the countless times you conveniently took my bank card for your personal use. Not again, you useless moron. I'm so tired of your constant brag about how hard you work. Genuinely talented people and genuine hard workers would never brag or make a big deal out of how good they are. They let their success and income speak for themselves. The fact you feel this perpetual need to convince me of how hard you work is proof itself of your sheer incompetence and uselessness, both as a son and a human being. You seriously need to stop looking down on me, your own son. I'm a human being and I have my own thoughts and feelings, you know. Oh, boo-hoo. For heaven's sake, Dylan. Stop being such a crybaby. Do you need me to change your diaper and give you a milk bottle? No one is interested in your crocodile tears. You're just as pathetic as your mother. The two of you are a pair of wet noodles. You should have followed in your mother's footsteps and died like a plagued rat. Unlike your talented sister, you couldn't even make it to college. What a useless loser you are. You really need to cut it out, Dad. You're going way too far. You do realize why I had to start working right out of high school, right? It was because I was forced to pay off the loans and debt that you accrued. It has nothing to do with my worth or my confidence. What loans and debt? I seriously don't know what you're talking about. Are you making things up again? I mean, really? You had to start working right out of high school? And what do you actually do for a living? You're just a lowly warehouse worker. Isn't that the one of the worst jobs to have? You have to work long hours and get paid peanuts. How could you possibly be proud of that? Look at how your sister Lydia is living her life. She's found herself a worthwhile husband who's capable of providing for this entire family. See how smart she is? She is a much better role model than you'll ever hope to be. You know what they say, work smart, not hard. Are you kidding me? Are you saying that it's better to live a life of leisure and luxury, even if it means taking advantage of others, than to work hard and earn your own way? That's a seriously twisted way of thinking. Let me tell you something. Anyone who's willing to work hard and earn their own way will be much more likely to find true happiness and fulfillment in life. <laughs> true happiness and fulfillment, my ass. You're talking as if you were a character from a Disney movie or something. Well, 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 look at you, being so arrogant just because you earn some pity money and have a shitty job. I swear, if I were there right now, I would beat the hell out of you. I'm not a kid anymore, so I won't obediently sit there and endure your beatings like I used to. I'm all grown up. I swear, if you lay a finger on me, I'm calling the police on you. Oh, really? You've got some nerve, boy. Do you actually think your meaningless threats are enough to scare me? Pathetic. Next time, try something more drastic. Anyways, I'm not going home today, so make sure the housework is done when I get back. I want the whole place sparkling. Oh, and I almost forgot. There's a pile of laundry by the stairs. Get it all washed and hung out to dry. After that, proceed to make lunch for me and Lydia. Remember, I only eat what I consider to be my taste. If you don't cook it right, I might throw everything in the trash and make you pay for my meal. Got it? Where are you, Dylan? There's something important I need to talk to you about. I'm at work. <laughs> my little slave creature is working really hard. Good job. Such a good boy. I'm so proud of you. Don't get me wrong. You can work as hard as you like and bring me every single cent you earn. But I have a friendly reminder for you. Remember to come back before 1pm to pack your trashy belongings and leave the house. What? 
pack my belongings and leave the house. What do you mean by that? Ugh, what else could I possibly mean, you dumbhead? Do I really have to say anything twice before you understand it? Just how stupid are you, really? <sighs> Fine. I'll break it to you one more time. I need you to come back home before 1 p.m. to pack your things and get your sorry ass out of my house. And why is that? I don't understand. Why? Because my fiancé Justin is coming over and staying at our house. His belongings are already at the doorstep, so we need you to come home as soon as possible to help unpack them. What? Are you saying this for real? But it's already past 1 p.m. Really? In that case, I just tell Justin to load all of your stuff into his car and toss it all away at the garbage dump. <laughs> what? No. Stop what you're doing now and wait until I get back. You're not supposed to throw away other people's property without their permission. Oops. Sorry, Justin already threw away everything. But don't blame me. You've blown your one last chance to retrieve your belongings because you weren't home on time. If you hurried, you could still rush home and retrieve some of your trashy belongings in one piece. You're moving out and my fiancé is moving in. Simple as that. You're also not supposed to show your face around here ever again. Oh, by the way, you still have to keep sending all of your salary to me and Dad, even if it barely amounts to pocket change. Fine. I'm gonna leave the house and never come anywhere near you or Dad again. Enjoy your new life with Justin, or whatever you call him. Huh? Excuse me? Are you just going to admit defeat like that? Hello, did you hear what I said? I said my fiancé came over and helped me throw away all your stuff. All of it. Oh, I almost forgot. We also bought a dog's lead and cage. Do you know what they're for? A dog's lead is to keep you tied up and the cage is your new home. Ta-da! You're welcome to come back as long as you stay chained to a post in the yard when you're not at work making us money. So hurry up and come home, little doggy. We're all waiting for you. Do you actually think that I'm going to do as you tell me? No chance. Just go away. I don't want to waste any more of my time with you. <laughs> Excuse me? Are you refusing a direct order from your master? How dare you? Instead of staying at some rundown hotels with moldy walls and full of rats, why don't you come back and live in the yard like a good little doggy? It's far more suitable for you. Come home, doggy. There's a good boy. Why on earth do I have to come to a house full of lunatics? I told you, I will never come home. So, you're homeless as of today? Ugh, you're really gross. I'm here, enjoying my new life in this luxurious penthouse, lying stretched out on this comfy bed. From where I'm at, I can even see the whole city. I bet somewhere down there, you, Dad, and your fiancé are all cramped up in our tiny house. <laughs> That's it. I'm never coming back. Because why should I? What? Where did that come from? You're living in a penthouse? Where? That's right. You know the Crystal Palace? That building isn't too far away from our house, so I guess you might have also heard about it. The Crystal Palace? You mean that luxurious and expensive apartment building across the street? No way, you're lying! I know. Maybe not having anything to eat for days has made you lose your sanity. I really feel sorry for you, Dylan the Doggy. <laughs> You're probably lying to make me jealous, but it ain't no way I'm gonna fall for your trick. I mean, there's no way a flat, broke loser like you could afford having a penthouse for yourself. Suit yourself whether you choose to believe it or not. That's not my problem. Well, there's something you might not know about me but I've been making quite a fortune every month as a stock trader and stock portfolio manager. What? Stock trader? 
can you really make that much money doing that? I don't even know that kind of job exists. You heard me right. I trade stocks and provide advice to people on which stocks to buy. If that's the case, then why are you still working as a warehouse worker? That job is only meant for ambitionless losers. Just how much do you earn exactly? Well, I don't usually disclose my earnings to anyone because it's not that significant. But I think I'm earning about $100,000 a year. Why am I still working as a warehouse worker? Because I love that job, and it also helps me earn a good income. What? That's impossible. Look, I've just changed my mind. Just come back home, brother. Come back to me and dad. I promise you won't have to sleep in the dog cage. All you have to do is bring me the big bucks that you earned from the stock market. See how kind I am to you. Oh, so now you've decided to be kind to me. Let me tell you some good news. Your kindness means nothing to me now. You already pushed me past my limit ages ago. I have some news that might interest you. Justin, your gold mine, won't be able to provide you with any financial assistance. He stole money from his company and was fired. He's also being fined a substantial amount of money for stealing from his company and damaging its reputation. From what I heard, he was even forced to sell his house to repay the fine. But that wasn't even enough. So in other words, he's basically sitting on a mountain of debt now. Good luck dealing with that. What? Is this some kind of sick joke? Tell me this isn't true! Well, sorry to tell you this, but it's not a joke. Everything I've just told you is all true, and I have trusted sources to prove it. No, no, no! This can't be true! I don't believe it! Just take your time to process everything. You might want to ask Justin for clarification too, if you want. But I bet a thousand dollars that his side of the story won't be much different from mine. So, toodles! I hope you, Debt Boy Justin, and our money-grubbing dad can have a great time together. Lydia confronted Justin regarding his debt and dismissal from his company. Initially, he vehemently denied everything, but eventually had to confess the truth. Upon hearing the complete story from Justin, Lydia and Kyle were filled with anger, leading them to expel him from their home shortly thereafter. To my surprise, Kyle and Lydia even resorted to an audacious act of attempting to forcefully enter my apartment building. They caused a commotion, threatening the receptionist in an attempt to obtain my room number. Their actions, however, resulted in their removal by security guards. With me already out of the picture, Kyle and Lydia were compelled to work tirelessly to make ends meet. Due to their limited work experience, they were only able to secure menial jobs, barely earning enough to get by. 